Hello Stitchy friends. Uh, this is going to be a much different video than usual. Um, I, to give you a little bit of background, uh, I'm a bit of a pack rat and that's putting it mildly and kindly. I think uh, I come from a family of uh, pretty near hoarders. Uh, so we tend to keep lots and lots of stuff. And when we moved into this house about five years ago, um, I brought a bunch of stuff from my old house that has lived in the garage pretty much since we moved. So uh, and at that time, I had not been into cross-stitch for a really long time. Uh, I can't even remember when I first got into cross-stitch. I want to say that it was probably somewhere along the lines of the year 2000, maybe 1999 or something, maybe shortly, or maybe 2003 when I moved into the old house. Anyway, it's been quite a while um, since, uh, you know, I was into cross-stitch originally. But when I was originally into cross-stitch, I had this... Um, the stitch basket and that's what you see right here. Um, the stitch basket has been in the garage since 2015, 2014, something like that. Um, I don't even know when the last time I opened it in the old house was. Um, so it's sort of like a time capsule and a treasure chest all in one. So this is a longer burger basket. I don't know if anybody's familiar with longer burger. My mom used to be a consultant years and years ago and we had lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and I mean lots of longer burger baskets. Um, so this was the one I kept all of my stitching stuff in and it has been buried under some stuff in the garage and I just dug it out today. And the reason I'm making a video is because you are not gonna believe the amount of stuff I have in here. Oh my gosh. So first and foremost, let me show you what I think is actually, oh, pardon the camera. Oh, sorry, I'll probably edit that out. <laughs> Let me show you what is probably my very oldest whip ever. This may actually be older than the sun and moon and stars piece. So this is Forever Wild. This is a Jan Lynn kit from Roger W. Reinerty. So uh, as you can see, this is a wolf with a larger wolf in the background. Pretty sure I was doing this for my now ex-husband. Um, I'm not going to show you the pattern on the back. Um, but yeah, so it's got the flosses in here. They're all sorted out and everything. And I'm not even sure what this looks like. I can't even remember the last time I worked on it, but it actually does have a piece in here. Let me get the pattern out of the way. So. Oh, wow. There is not much done here. <laughs> uh, oops, upside down. Okay. So there is that wolf, there is that whip. <laughs> so um, this piece actually I am probably going to give away or sell or give to Goodwill or something because uh, uh, wolves are not really my thing. This was um, was particularly for my husband, my ex-husband, um, who I was married to at the time. Oh, there's a random piece of pink. I wonder where the, I wonder what that even went to. Um, I am going to steal the pencil back out of this. Um, but uh, wolves were his thing, and this reminds me way too much of him. So I'll be getting rid of this. Um, if anybody's particularly interested in having this, as far as I know, it's still got all of its original pieces. Um, I don't know if any of you are the kind of folks that like to take on other people's projects uh, as your own, but uh, you know that could be up for grabs for anybody that might be interested. But yeah, so this was actually in another basket that was on top of this big stitching basket. Um, but that is probably my, is probably literally the oldest whip I have. Okay, let's get into this. So on top we here, on top here we have um, some Q-snap, oops, we have some Q-snap guards that hold the fabric on. So this signals to me that there are probably some more Q-snaps in there. <laughs> uh, these are some nifty trays that came with these baskets uh, when my mom got them for me. So first up, and this is part of a, I must have bought the entire set because um, I know, uh, and if you've seen floss tube number one, you've seen, I believe it was Fortune 
that I did. And I honestly, and I will tell you now, I don't remember having purchased anything that's in this box. So these are all kind of a surprise to me. The only reason I'm not super shocked while I'm in talking in this video is because I have looked through them very quickly once. So anyway, apparently I bought an entire set of these. So I already did Fortune. This is Prosperity. Um, these are totally my style. I love, um, and I'm not sure if these are Japanese or Chinese. These are probably Chinese characters. I hope that's, I've got that correct because I would hate to be, I'd hate to be wrong. Oh, it says the round Tai Chi symbol at the bottom of the design. Okay, so that's that. Um, Feng Shui, which is, I believe, Japanese. Anyway, Asian of some sort, but it's a really nice pattern there with a symbol for, or the character for prosperity with some flowers or peaches or something. So, and it comes with 14 count Ada and all the floss and a needle. So, um, that's kind of cool. And it's, I think this is the same sort of oatmeal colored floss or, um, pardon me, fabric that came with the original, uh, fortune design as well. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's see. So like I said, I must have gotten an entire set of these. This is Wisdom. I actually have, I'm not sure if it's this specific character, but I have a character for Wisdom tattooed on my chest. Patience and Wisdom, because those are the two things that I felt I needed most. Um, and this comes with the same color fabric and all the flosses. Longevity. Ooh, this one's pretty. This, has, I'm trying to make sure that the glare is not getting you. Um, this has really pretty blue flowers, possibly lotus flowers in the background. That's really nice. Balance. We all need some balance. This looks like yellow daisies. That's really nice. Yeah, these all have this sort of oatmeal colored um, fabric. Why do I want to say thread? Um, have this yellow oatmeal colored fabric in the back. Oh my gosh. So yeah, this is like a whole set. This one, oh my gosh, I was so excited when I saw this. So I love Macintosh roses. Um, I'm a huge Art Deco and Art Nouveau fan. Uh, hold it like that. Um, so I, you know, I've always loved that style of those styles are two different styles of artwork and the Macintosh roses came along, I believe during the art deco period. Um, and they're called Macintosh roses because of a gentleman, gentleman named Macintosh, somebody or other Macintosh. Anyway, it was his style. He did all these stained glass roses and stuff. It's one of my favorite things ever. Um, and if you, if you've been with me a little while, or if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen the, uh, the free Macintosh rose, um, SAL that peppermint purple, peppermint purple put out through lakeside needlepoint, needlecraft, needlecraft. Um, that I have been working on. So when I saw this pattern or this kit, I was so excited because I love, 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 love these style of roses. And I cannot believe that I have this. This was like a super exciting gift for myself. So it's a kit comes with pattern fabric, all of the floss. That's so nice. This is like, I cannot believe how much of a treasure trove this is. I don't even remember buying any of these things. I don't know where they came from. They're just, they're just all here and they're mine. <laughs> it's crazy. These are some tropical drink coasters. Um, and I probably actually won't use the, um, the patterns that came with this. I'm going to try not to show you too much of that. It's got the pattern, but it's got these really cool coasters. I will probably do some other kind of pattern and put it in the coasters. Um, because these coasters can be hard to find. So super excited for this find. This, I think, is actually, no, I guess this is cross-stitch. It looks like, it looks like needlepoint. I don't know if you can see this, but it almost looked like it was just half stitches instead of full crosses. Um, but it says, God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. So, oops. Um, so this is, 
I believe, I don't know if it's used outside of um, AA, but I know that they do use it um, in the program. Um, but this is done in really gorgeous blues and purples. Um, now that I'm confident enough to start adjusting patterns and changing colors and things like that on my own, if I were to do this, I would take out God um, just because I'm not a tip I'm not a terribly religious person, um, so I might adjust that somewhat and just say grant me the serenity um, or something like that. But um, so it's the serenity prayer. That's pretty cool. The whole kit. This looks like probably 14 count Ada. It's got really pretty colors in it. And it looks like rather than using variegated floss, since this is a fairly old kit, it looks like rather than using variegated floss, you actually do the color changes yourself. So that's really pretty. We'll see. We'll see if I do that. Yet another thing I don't remember purchasing. This, um, what is this called? Frederick the Literate. So this is a kitty laying in a bookshelf. Super cute. Um, I feel like I've seen this pattern maybe on Heaven and Earth Designs, though it, this probably is not, no, this is only a 12 by 11, so it's not going to be like a that level of of kit or anything like that, but that's super cute. This is another kit. Oh my gosh, that's Black Ada. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know about Black Ada. I'm kind of, I'm still intimidated by Black Ada. <laughs> so this is a kit. Um, if I kept it, it would probably honestly only be to do, to keep the Black Ada. Um, cause there's a couple of projects I'm thinking about that could use Black Ada or Black Fabric. But I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I might give that away. Because that's not really my taste these days. I still love cats. Don't get me wrong. Love, love, love cats. But the, the art in this one is not, uh, it's not my favorite. So. <clears throat> this one. This one I vaguely remember. Um, mostly because I love the art. I've always loved butterflies. Um, for, for a long, long, long time I've loved butterflies. Love the Asian style and the kanji and um, Chinese characters and all that sort of stuff. Again, I feel bad because I don't, I can't recognize whether this is, I think these are probably Chinese characters. Um, but this is really gorgeous. I love the color blending and just the overall style and everything. I probably didn't get into this ages ago because of the backstitching and I used to be super, super, super intimidated by backstitching. Uh, less so now. I could totally tackle this. This is a 10 by 10 butterfly expressions. And this is on 14 count beige Ada. 14 by 14 fabric. So yeah, this one, this one would not intimidate me these days. I think this would be really fun to do. And you can see here on the fabric, it's actually, it's already got some of that design printed on here. So here, these parts. Um, those are already printed on there, and then you stitch everything else on top. It's really gorgeous. So this might be a project that I actually work on this year. That's one I'll keep. Oh, look! Tiny Q-snaps! This must be, like, maybe a 6x6? Six six or a 4? No, it can't be a 4x4. Four four. Let's see. Hold on. Yeah, that's probably a 6x6. Six six. Um, and maybe an 8x8. Eight eight. So... Wow, I had no idea that I had these. <laughs> Looks like we've got another, oh, it's a, that's a big hoop. Is that a 10 inch hoop? That can't be a 10 inch hoop. Is that, is that bigger than a 10 inch hoop? Do they make those? Well, anyway, it's a hoop. Let's see, we got some smalls. Two hearts, one love. I guess I was saving that for a wedding day. Um, kind of glad I didn't do it for the guy that I married nearer that time. This is from 2002, so this this whole box must be from close to around then. So there's that. That could be a giveaway at some point. Happiness. So this is very similar. Um, the, oh, this is one of those weird... Um, is this needlepoint? I don't know why I keep thinking everything's needlepoint. This looks like it. Oh, it is needlepoint. It says needlepoint. Durr. Okay. So that one's needlepoint. That's why we have this like canvas -y, um 
kind of material versus Ada or anything like that. So that's a needlepoint. I probably won't do that. Not a big fan of needlepoint. This one's pretty. This is family. The colors are a little muted um, for my taste. But still my style. Comes with the fabric. This one is, is cross-stitch. This is another needlepoint. I'm sure I bought this because it was cheap and it was purple. So do we have any needlepoint fans out there? Okay, so those are all the smalls. I'm running out of space over here next to myself. Uh, looks like we're getting to some expensive kits now. Let's see what we got here. This, I think, what is this called? Apache Wedding, Wedding Blessing. And I think I got this, my, um, my mom and my stepdad, when they got married, I believe that uh, this was one of the readings they had at their, their wedding. Now you will feel no rain, for each of you will be shelter for the other. Now you will feel no cold, for each of you will be warmth for the other. Now there is no more loneliness. Now you are two persons, but there is only one life before you. May your days together be good and long upon the earth. So, uh, it's a, I've always thought it was a really beautiful sentiment. Um, again, this, at this point in my life, this is not really my art, artistic aesthetic style. Um, so I don't know if I'll do this kit or if I'll, um, give this away or something. Um, I wouldn't mind stitching this, um, this wedding blessing at some other point, but I don't think I'd want to do it this way. So, but that's kind of cool. I got all the stuff in here. Everything appears to be 14 count. I don't really do anything in 14 count these days. Um, but yeah. So, there's that. This one's really pretty. This one I will probably do someday. Um, it says, Welcome Friends. And we've got like a swallowtail butterfly. A little bird. Some flowers. This is 26 inches long. Uh, it's a big one. But that's kind of cool. I got all the stuff back there. I'm kind of surprised that I bought some of these. I must have gotten these on sale or something. Because I don't think I ever did. I, I don't think I ever really considered doing a piece this large at that time. So it's interesting to see that I had those kinds of ambitions. <laughs> Let's see... Oh, this is, this is a nice one. I am my beloved's and my beloved, um, let's see. I am, I am my beloved's and my beloved is mine. So this is a Jewish wedding blessing, I believe. Um, it's got space down here for names, um, from the Song of Solomon. I am my beloved's and my beloved is mine. I am my beloved's and my beloved is mine. So... I've always had a huge respect for the Jewish faith. Um, nobody in my family is Jewish, but when I was in college, um, I did a lot of religious studies. Um, as I said, I'm not particularly religious, um, and I think that sort of led me to try to explore other religions to understand why why people followed religions and what kind of belief systems they had and that sort of thing. Um, and Judaism was one of the the belief systems that really struck a chord with me. And part of it is because sort of the central, um, some of the central ideas surround knowledge and understanding and this belief that you should not only strive to understand your religion, but that there's room to discuss it and debate it. And that, um, that the word of God isn't absolute because it came through man. And so we can discuss what the meanings might be, and it's perfectly okay and acceptable and encouraged to to question and to think and to explore uh, religion and outside religion. So that was something that I really, um, I really, um, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> it was something that really struck a chord, as I said. And, and so um, I tend to find these kinds of things that are part of the Jewish faith, and I, I find them really beautiful. So that was something that I got. This looks like a super fancy pattern. What is this? These are all dimensions, I think. Um, the gold collection, so you know it's fancy. Winter's Lace, it says. So this is 18 by 10. 
Larry Fanning is the artist, it looks like. There's a kitty. Hi, kitty. Kitty. No, okay. Okay, he's going to be just out of frame. Nope, you can see him. Hi, Loki. Loki. Come here, baby. What you doing? You want to see the cross stitch? Yeah, he doesn't care. So, these are wolves. I must have, again, gotten this as some kind of something for my ex-husband. Um, it's gorgeous, uh, but I don't think I'd ever do this. Again, not really, not my style, not my taste. I had to have gotten this as a as a something for somebody else. Loki. Silly cat. Okay. Uh, this is 16 count Dove Gray Ada, so that's different at least. So, yeah, that's probably going to find a new home. These things have to find a stitchy home because they've been languishing for so long. Somebody needs to needs to take them and uh, give them some love. Equine Trio. I do love horses. So this one was for me. Um, but again, not my artistic style these days. Not something I would um, necessarily care to stitch. I don't do a lot of these um, muted natural colors. Um, I prefer brighter colors, more modern designs, that kind of stuff. But these are almost 20 years old, so there would be a reason that they're not so modern. Half stitches used in the design for artistic effect. So it's not a needlepoint. What you doing, Loki? Come here. What you doing? Say hi. Say hi. Say hi, Loki. Yeah, you don't wanna. You don't wanna. Nobody's watching at this point anyway. It's okay. Okay. So. Um, another one I will probably give away. We'll see. We shall see. But yeah, I doubt I'd ever do this pattern. It's a Luna. Two kitties. <clears throat> this is really pretty. Butterfly Whisper. And again, because of my little butterflies. Very pretty. Sunset County Cross Stitch. Another gold collection. This is Brilliant Butterfly Celebration. Comes with a thread sorter. Yay! This is really pretty. I don't know if the uh, adhesive came up on its own or... If, uh, it must have come up on its own. I don't think I've opened this before. This is also 14 count. Very pretty. And I think we're at the bottom of the box. Looks like... What is this? Oh, this is, uh, oh, it's just the paperwork. This must be from, oh. See, I wonder, I thought I had remembered at some point in my life doing one of these for somebody, but I couldn't, I couldn't think for certain. I just knew that I had seen this pattern again recently and I thought I had done it. So, um, I think I did this for my ex-husband's sister when she had her baby. Um, so that probably, I really thought that that fortune piece was my very first finish, but this may have actually been my very first finish. No pictures of it, though. And obviously I gave it away. Nothing, it's not focusing. Ugh. Okay, there you go. I think I, and no, she had a boy, so I must have done it in blue. Anyway. So I guess I saved the pattern. Oh yeah, I saved the pattern in the floss so that I could do it again if I wanted to. So, but again, I think I'd go for something a little more uh, modern. And there's a hoop in the bottom. So that's it for that. Uh, I may post this up at least so Rachel can see it because I really just want to give her a chance to look at all that stuff because oh my gosh, so many kits, so many kits. I knew there would be kits in there, but I had no idea there would be so many kits. Anyway. Uh, that's it for that. I hope you all are having a great time. If you are particularly in love with any of these kits, please let me know. Um, I might use them as a giveaway in the future. As I said in one of my recent videos, um, I will probably do a giveaway at 100 subscribers. Uh, I'm at almost 70 now, so it may not be long before that happens. So 
If you have a favorite, vote for it, and maybe that will be the giveaway prize. Otherwise, I will talk to you later. Hope you're all having a great weekend. Bye.